Hi friends, welcome to Explore Nexon video part number 2. In the part 1, we have seen the exterior features and some interior features like the storage places available in the car, charging points, sunroof operations, DRL operations, etc. And in this continued series of Explore Nexon series, we will see some other features of the car today. Before starting the session, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscribe button below which is free, there is no cost and also press on the bell icon so that you will get notifications of all the videos I make. Now let us start today's video. We have seen how to enter inside the car using the PEPS smart remote key and I have kept the same key inside the car. This key should be somewhere inside the car to switch on the car. And this is the start and stop button. The single button will perform both the key, both the functions like starting and stopping the vehicle. And in the start mode, there are two modes. One is to start power operated electrical controlling options like uh, infotainment, power windows, etc. For that, you have to just press the key without operating the clutch. I will show you. I am pressing on the key now without operating the clutch. So, amber light has come. That means all your power operated options are on, like infotainment. So, I can directly switch on this infotainment system by pressing the button below so now you, the infotainment screen will come when i press this button you see it has come up now in this mode you can roll up and roll down the windows inside windows of the car now i will show you how to start the engine for that you have to operate the clutch completely by pressing the clutch Completely you have to press this key once again. Now the green light has come. That means your engine is started and the instrument cluster has come up. Here you can see many options. See this one. First one is RPM meter. RPM meter shows the RPM. And here you can see the temperature of the vehicle. This shows the fuel. This is the fuel gauge. This is main speedometer area here it is showing zero speed when you move on it will show the speed of the car and this is the clock this clock's time can be set through the infotainment system I will show you that later part and this is one of the best features of top end variant Nexon XZ plus O that is TPMS tire pressure monitoring system this will show you the pressure exact pressures of uh, each uh, tire and if it is low it will also inform you low and if it is high it will show you high and below that you can see two more things this is a odometer actual kilometers and this one is the space to empty distance to empty and uh, now uh, with the available fuel I can go to 30 kilometers more and here there is one button by pressing which you can see other modes like temperature so now it is showing the present temperature and now it is showing the average of the vehicle and along with the average of the vehicle it's also showing trip a and next press will show you trip b this you can set while you are starting the journey this will also show you in case of any errors it will show you lights in a red mode uh, now the seat belt uh, symbol is coming on the instrument cluster uh, when you move the guardian and vehicle reaches the speed of 15 kilometers it will also start making so sound both the driver and uh, the co-passenger should uh, wear the driver's uh, seat belt otherwise it will start making noise these are some main uh, 
features available in the instrument cluster and to reset the trip meter I will show you you have to operate this key and this button simultaneously both the keys should be pressed continuously for some three to four seconds the trip B meter now has come to zero so in this way you can set the trip meter whenever you start some new journey so these are some information of uh, instrument cluster now let us move towards the steering wheel it's leather finished it's leather cover comes only for the top end variant and in the center you can see the Tata logo on the right side you see cruise controls left side you have infotainment controls in the cruise controls you can set the vehicle to some speed while you are going on a highways uh, you can set you, your vehicle to certain speed with the help of this button and if you want to increase speed a little you can add do that by with the help of plus and you can decrease it by with the help of minus button and even uh, if you want to cancel it you can cancel it through this button or whenever you operate your brakes or accelerators it will be turned off automatically so this is the one of the important and main features of top end variant and on the left side you have infotainment controls this will increase the volume decrease the volume changing the tracks or radio stations and the center button is for changing the modes between USB, Bluetooth, etc. And here you have two more keys. This key will do two functions. One is for the voice commands. When you press this for two sec seconds, it will ask you to give the command by making two beeps. You can give certain commands uh, just like uh, uh, decreasing or increasing the blower speed calling somebody when the phone is connected through the Bluetooth and uh, <coughs> so, so some commands like that can be given to the car it will operate and this is for receiving the call you can cut the call here and you can mute the music system here so these are some steering mounted infotainment controls which are very fantastic here, here we, we go, with go with the, the infotainment, infotainment system, system. I will, I will speak, speak about, about infotainment, infotainment system, system now. now. You can, you can see, see Herman, Herman powered, powered 7, seven inch, inch infotainment, infotainment system inside, inside the, the car, car which is, which is very, very powerful, powerful music system. system. You can, you can scroll, scroll through, through the options. The, the touch is screen is very smooth and, and you have some other controls like settings and some other controls on the right side as well on the top you can see clock and you can see the presently running media or song and uh, I will show you all the features now one by one and uh, whenever you are somewhere lost in the screen you can come to home screen by just pressing on this key now it is inactive because you are on the home screen whenever you scroll down to some other page it will become active and you can come back to the home screen anywhere anytime and the above key this one is for changing the modes you can go to USB now FM any mode you can through the do this through the steering mounted control also this is for parking rear view so for this option I have to switch on the engine I will show you how it I have turned on the vehicle now. Now you can see it is active. If I click on this, it will give me the rear side view. So this is how you can operate the rear side view. Its uh, camera is very nice. You can watch the back side view while you are uh, driving also. This feature also helps you a lot. So this is about parking back side view. And above one is climate control that is AC controls. If I switch on the AC, it will show you the temperature and the temperature over there. So now you can see how it's showing. I have lower 
convert the blower speed I will show how to do it so it's showing the present temperature 19 degree if you want to increase it you can increase it through the AC buttons here this is for setting the blower speed see if I move forward blower speed is increasing and now it is decreasing if you want to change the temperature you can change the temperature and you can see the same through the infotainment system see when I turn this you can observe the same through the infotainment system see it is showing the decrease increasing and decreasing you can set any temperature as per your wish so this is auto AC button which will set the temperature automatically uh, looking at the external condition it has got sensors this is one of the sensor in front of the car this will sense the external temperature and it will set the AC accordingly with the help of this auto AC function if you want to turn off the AC you can turn off here all the AC will be turned off this is manual AC you can start this AC and you can set the temperature as per your wish so these are some AC controls which will be operated through the buttons you can see those controls in the infotainment system as well. now I will show you how to set some other options like radio USB Android Auto everything I will explain now so first I will go to the radio option if you click the radio option some radio station is already being clear if you want to change the radio stations between uh, the stored stations I have st stored uh, some stations already you can just press this or this and move to the stations you want and if you want to set any radio search auto manually you can manually search radio station by seeking this bar like this so after searching for the stations if you want to store a station in an empty location you just click on that for two to three seconds continuously it will be stored there I will show you now 101.2 will be stored here see one sound also you will get and it gets stored there so if you want to store some other station here you just search so you press on the same key 101 I had stored a few seconds back I will store the same station over this see now it is 102 so you can change the stored stations also so this is how you can operate through the radio stations so radio station seeking can be done also through the options available on the steering as well as the power uh, the seek buttons done here if you give seek see here I will press this seek button it will start searching for the next available strong station so go back it will also seek so these buttons are also for infotainment system like going to home screen which I had shown here this home key and this home key will function like similarly and uh, these seek buttons and these buttons function similarly and uh, they are also available here and this is for phone mode I have to connect phone then only I can show you this I will show you this also in some time this is for going back if I click on the back button you can see changes here see it is coming to the previous screen so in this way you can change our uh, settings of the infotainment now let us see some controls related to USB I have connected USB already see some song is being played here if you want to change the track as usual I have shown you these two keys can change the song and if you want to shuffle the songs in the folder you can click this for repeating you can click this 
and you can go to some other options like folders if you have several song folders you can go through the song folders and open any folder you want and if you want to play some video you can open the video and you can play video here or any other video also can be played here but videos will play only while your vehicle is in the stop mode in the motion it will not play any videos for the safety purpose you can also watch the pictures quality is very awesome so you can see pictures you can see videos you can listen to the songs from the usb and you can go back here so next one is phone option for that i have to connect the phone so before connecting the phone i will show you some other settings of this infotainment systems here you have some infotainment settings just like you can mute from here also these are some user defined programs for which i have to turn on the ignition i will turn on it uh, and i will show you see now if i click on this button it will give you some other controls like this user defined it is given now if you go to zen mode some temperature temperature is already set here if some color is already set here what this do is whenever you select zen mode ac will come to this temperature automatically color of the infotainment system will be changed to this and some sound settings whatever you set to this particular mode will come to the action see if i click this all color is changed and uh, everything has changed now so in this way you can change to zing mode this will change into some other mode color okay this is how you can operate them and if you go to settings i will show you there are some setups available here before going to them let us see some other options available you can increase or decrease the brightness of infotainment system with this button you can turn off the display when you are traveling in the night the light of the infotainment disturb you so that you can turn off the display only display you can off so display is turning off now audio is being played but display has gone but when i turn the volume it has come back or even when you touch the infotainment system it will come back and uh, the song whichever is playing or station whichever is playing will be shown here these are some quick options available here and if you go to the setting there are some vehicle setups like park assist park assist will uh, ask you to mix with the audio tone volume of the reverse parking if you want to increase and increase decrease you can decrease the tone of the reverse gear park assist uh, delay timer can be set here this is used uh, especially when you want to take reverse several times within a sec within seconds so that uh, what it does is when you move forward also it will keep on showing the back side view it will not change it to the uh, normal view and uh, back side view you can set it to 5 seconds 10 seconds etc and uh, lighting settings approach lamp so follow me ham uh, home lamp is available in the car so if you want to keep it for 30 seconds you can keep it for 30 if you set it to 60 seconds it will be on for 60 seconds when you operate the follow me home lamp on the remote key you can set it to maximum 90 seconds and voice alert you can turn it on it will give you voice alert for several things like uh, low fuel etc it will be turned on and off through this option so i will go back and show you some other audio setups it has some predefined music modes and as well as user defined mode you can set these buttons to required level 
whichever way you like or you can select some ready made modes to enjoy the music and you can also set the balance of the audio if you want only front speakers to play change it to front only back you can change it to back if you reset the music will be played through all the eight speakers so these are some music audio setups phone setup you have to connect the device then only this will come for connecting the phone you have pair new device option and you have paired device option also i have connected already one device here if you don't want it you can delete it if you connect several phones to this infotainment it will give the list of all the sets which are already paired and device visibility you can switch it on or off here SMS alert notification. Whenever a SMS is received in your phone, when you have connected your phone to the infotainment through the Bluetooth, it will ask how it should show. For only pop up or uh, pop up and uh, beep both you want, or uh, you don't want to wreck uh, any notification on the screen. You can set it from here. And volume setups, speed dependent volume, very interesting feature whenever you increase the vehicle of the speed what happens is inside noise will also increase so that music volume will be decreased you feel it like it's less so that it will automatically set the speed to that noise level so this is interesting feature startup tones phone tones notification tones can increase and decrease with these arrow keys so these are some volume setups and next one is system setup here you can set the date and time i had told you that instrument cluster time and date also can be set from this you just scroll through this and select after that you can move forward and select the time and you set it if you want to set it to the 24 hours clock you can set it from here and if you want to set it to everything to the factory defaults you can set it from here and next one is themes themes i have already shown you through this you can change zeal mode and if you want user defined this will give you the option to change the color whichever you want to apply to this infotainment system now the seller has been staying changed as per my wish so these are theme settings and then comes software details it will give you the details of the present softwares running on this infotainment system and the last one about this will also give you the information about this informate infor infotainment system now let us see some bluetooth connectivity options i have turned on bluetooth on uh, my mobile and i have paired it to the infotainment system pairing i have already told you it will be available in the settings after pairing when your phone is connected it will show you the signal strength and battery strength and b symbol here so that means it is connected and it will also give you two beeps after connecting so now the phone has been already connected now i will tell you about phone setup i will show you what happens when i click this see it is asking if you want to pair some other device you can pair it and when I come to the home screen, you have audio setup. This is same I have shown you in the settings bar. And Bluetooth audio. When you are in the Bluetooth mode, you can audio it can be played through the mobile. If I play any song now in my mobile, that will be played through the speakers in the car. It's connected. I can play it. I have to play it through the mobile so now I am not going to play anything now the phone contacts you can see or search from here if you want to set any favorite contact you can store favorite contacts and uh, you can go to the favorite contacts to this or also here you move down to the previous screen see you have favorite option i have set some numbers as favorite 
just for my convenience while calling in the driving mode so you can see favorites here contacts you can also go to call locks recent call locks it will show you you can directly call the number from there you can also dial the numbers with the help of dial pad so if you want to call any number with the help of call lock you can single click on this number or any number will directly start calling that particular number so these are favorite numbers here also you can single click will start the call you can see some controls for that here also so now i am in the home mode if you want to directly go to the phone you can click this see what happens when i click this it will go to my call logs so if i come to home it will come to home and one more dedicated particular key is available here for this you can set any desired function there are some options available if you long press this it will show you you can set source audio setup favorites audio android auto etc to that particular key i have set favorites to that button so what happens is i will go to home and show you when i click this button for a second it will directly come to my favorite list because i have set that button to favorite so if you don't want it to set that button you can change it by long pressing it for 3 4 seconds yeah now you can change the option if you set it for for example android auto what happens you see now see it shows that phone is not connected when i have connect if i connect the phone through the usb it will go to android auto mode so this is this is the function of this particular key this is user defined key which you can set some option whichever you want to access faster i have shown all these options i have shown all these options too i have not connected any ipod i don't have any ipod so i cannot show you uh, here there are two more options called voice command and what three words what three words comes only with the top end variant this is for navigation ira supported option i will speak about it in the later video this voice command i have already told you uh, while i was explaining about steering mounted controls i can show you some features when you click on this voice command button it will say command i say fan speed 5 Fan speed to See now the fan speed has been increased by the system itself. So in this way you can increase the fan speed, you can change the tracks, and you can call any number if you want. You can say the number or name from the call call list or contact list. It will call that number directly. So these are some voice commands. what three words i will take it in some other video which is uh, ira supported i will make some other uh, separate video for ira supported options so these are main features of infotainment system and infotainment system will show you all the controls of ac also i have told you about these buttons i have to tell you about this button this is for increasing and decreasing the volume you can see on the screen volume is increasing and decreasing and if you long press this key while nothing is being played it will turn off and in the riding mode it will show you the clock that i will show you later and if you press this it will come on again and if some music is being played you can mute it short touch will make it mute and unmute just a little bit longer press will turn the off the display and this button is to toggle between the music or the options see it's toggling if you want to select options from here you just toggle to the option whichever you want if you want to operate your favorites you go to that favorites now i will have to 
press on this see it will go to favorites so if you want to go back you can go back from here this key so this is for toggling and selecting this is for volume mute and also for turning of the screen so these are infotainment dedicated buttons and the buttons below given are for manual AC you can set everything for as per your wish here auto AC when you turn it on it will set the auto temperature automatically according to the external temperature even after that you can set the temperature by changing this to first front and back so temperature will be increased or decreased here and these are some other buttons for AC for front window fogging defogging and the demister of back window so this is op this is the options available only in the top end XZ plus O option variant and this is for rotating the air inside and outside air so these are some AC vent directions whichever mode you want to select you can select from here and uh, this is for fog lamp this is for express cool this is also one of the top end XZ plus O feature other variants do not have this when you are uh, when you have parked your vehicle in uh, hot temperature when you come inside you can directly press this button so that uh, it will roll down the driver mirror and uh, remove out the hot air from that window and after some time it will ask you to roll up the window so that the inside cabin will be cooled 70 percent faster so this is one of the interesting feature of this car this is for locking and unlocking all the doors this is for opening only tailgate you can unlock your tailgate or boot with this button I'll show the operation of this these buttons when I click on this button what happens you see on the screen when I press once it's showing only front AC vents are giving the air and uh, this is giving air through both the vents air is coming only through the lower and one is lower vent and also wind vent is open so by pressing it uh, every time it will change the mode one press will change the one mode to the other so this is how you can operate through this button this is for external air and internal air circulation demist backside front so these are some options here express cool lock and lock all this i have told you this is for fog lamp this is six speed gear you have six speed gears and one more reverse gear to operate that reverse gear they have given you one small lock here you have to raise it like this and then you have to move it backwards you can take it back same way so this is how to operate the gear system and one more interesting feature of this car is three drive modes eco city and sport this will set the power of the vehicle eco mode is best for the best fuel performance city is also good and it will uh, give you some more power extra power for the car and sport power sport mode will give you the complete power of the car while you drive so you can set it to the speed or uh, desired level you want